right. Hi, um, my name is Quill West. I'm the Open Education Project Manager at Pierce College um, in Pierce County, Washington. And my work is around helping faculty to find alternatives to commercial textbooks so that we can save our students money um, and so that we can energize our teaching around um, resources that matter to our students. So uh, I'm really here today to talk about how we're using Washington government resources in higher education and um, barriers that we see in being able to use these resources with our students across um, all of the State Board of Community and Technical Colleges. So, um, for example, we have a class um, in uh, at Pierce College that's on human resources management. And in that class, students build a personnel plan. They start with how they would recruit personnel and work all the way through professional development for personnel in a, in a fictional business. Um, and there, the Washington Business Hub is full of amazing plans that can be adapted and adopted for those assignments. Um, but I can't adapt and adopt them because the default on those resources is fully copyrighted, which means I can't make changes to them to better meet our learning outcome. Washington Business Hub has this great collection of materials called Plan Your Business. Um, and it's everything from training about how to run a business to how to design a financial plan. Um, it, there's some really wonderful materials here. Um, and we do have a marketing and management class at Pierce College Joint Base Lewis McCord, which serves um, students all over Pierce County, but also students who are in the military or associated with the military. Um, and the student, we have a teacher there who is currently designing a class in business. He's doing intro to business, but he also has done human resources, marketing management, um, and a few other business courses. And he likes to do open courses because he doesn't like traditional textbooks, um, partially because of the cost, but partially because they're not malleable and he can't make changes to them. Um, so he um, recently contacted me and said, let's update marketing. Let's redo the marketing class. Um, and I would love to be able to connect him with the Washington Business Hub, partially because it speaks to businesses in our own state. And um, if he's working with military affiliated folks who might stay in our region, I would prefer them, for them to know about business in Washington state. Let's give them a reason to stay and use their expertise here. Um, so um, I would love to be able to connect him with these resources, but I also know that he needs the ability to be able to make changes to these resources to meet his course learning objectives um, and to speak directly to the students that he is working with this quarter. Um, and so I would love to be able to do that. But again, the copyright information on this particular resource is really hard to find. Um, on top of that, um, it does say it's copyrighted to the state of Washington, and it doesn't tell me how to find out if I can use these resources and what it means if I do want to adjust and change them. So um, I'm going to have to dump into the Washington Business Hub and look through the privacy policy to see if copyright is anywhere in it um, um, to find out if I can... Um, use this and it looks like I'm coming up against a thing here that says that I can contact the webmaster for permission. So that's what I'll end up doing um, if I want to reuse these sites is contacting the webmaster to ask. Um, my teacher at my institution is a part-time faculty member. He would never go do that on his own. So um, it's one of the services that Pierce College is providing. But um, it would be really wonderful for that teacher if I could just send him this website and say, you're welcome to use any of it. Another great example of a state resource that I would have loved to use in an open course that we're currently developing actually um, is for a Washington State History course. And Washington State History is traditionally taught um, and in the high school level, but I'm working with faculty at my institution to develop a reading textbook for students who are in our Pierce Academy program. Um, the, uh, the program is high school completion for students who, um, for whatever reason, the traditional high school model did not work for them. So they're returning students. Um, these students are often our most um, at-risk students. They are people who, for whom dropping out of school 
is is the default process. So we want to create useful materials for them that they can access right away. And um, they can't be commercially produced materials. So we're working on a Washington State History website or um, textbook for these students. And um, one of the things that is an outcome for that particular course, because it's a history course, is chronological reasoning. Um, and the Department of Agriculture just had their centennial, and for their centennial, they made a beautiful um, timeline of agriculture in the state of Washington. And it's regional, it's specific, it's a timeline, so the students would have to apply chronological reasoning. It's a timeline of a specific time that I can have them compare to a wider um, timeline of Washington state history. It's perfect for so many uses within the state, but there is no, so many uses within teaching the concept of history. There's no copyright information on that page at all. Um, so there's no way for me to know if I get printed versions of it, if I can give those to my students ethically and morally. Um, so then I, um, the teacher who is designing the course with me um, has a very limited time to get a course out. Um, and so when I say, okay, we have this tool, let me see if I have time to contact the Department of Agriculture's webmaster and ask if we can have permission to use that resource. Um, if the teacher didn't have time in the quarter that we were working on to get this designed, so she said, you know what, I'll just make something different. And so she made something that was not as comprehensive, um, that didn't have great pictures in it, um, but that was emergent that she could use right away. And she used that with her students instead. Um, and so what I would love to be able to have done in that situation is say to her, this resource is here, it's ready to go, our state made it, um, and let's share it with our students right away. 